It's a growing problem across central Ohio. Cars getting stolen and often ended up ending up wrecked. It's a trend our team continues to investigate, even talking to local leaders to figure out what can be done to prevent it before it ends up becoming a bigger problem with people injured or even dead. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Andrew Kinsey. I'm Tracy Townsend. Yolanda has the evening off. Tonight we are learning some new details about a stolen car crash in Prairie Township. It sent five people to the hospital. Yeah, it's a story we first broke over the weekend just hours after it happened. Tonight, 10 TV's Carly Dion is outside the Franklin County Sheriff's Office with the latest on the investigation. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office tells me four juveniles were in a stolen Kia when they allegedly crashed into another car after running a stop sign Saturday afternoon. The 15 year old driver is being charged with receiving stolen property. The sheriff's office says the red Kia was stolen that morning from Daytona Road. The crash happened around 1.30 p.m. at the intersection of Hilliard Rome Road and Beacon Hill Road in Prairie Township. The juvenile driver ran the stop sign, hitting a silver Honda. The driver of the Honda was taken to Grant Medical Center in critical condition. The four juveniles were taken to another area hospital. Their condition was described as stable. Young people are committing crimes today that they were not, and certainly not in the numbers they were five years ago. So we have to change the way uh, that we're dealing with these issues. Earlier this month, we spoke with Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther about the rise in car thefts in the city. Across Franklin County, more than 1,100 juveniles were charged with stolen car cases between January of 2021 and July of this year. Mayor Ginther says it's impacting morale among officers. Our officers are working hard to get dangerous kids that are doing dangerous things off the street and oftentimes those kids are beating them uh, back to their homes and neighborhoods before the officers back on the street. Ginther adds more should be done by the legal system to work together in stopping these crimes among kids from occurring. Uh, and the only way to protect these kids and to protect the community is to get them off the street. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office tells us the driver of that Honda remains in critical condition. Anyone with information about this is asked to contact them. In downtown Columbus, Carly Dion, 10TV News.